All right, we just pulled up to the gate, um, talked to uh, homeboy over here, and he said they just planted trout yesterday, and uh, they've been planting trout. You'd say you, you guys been planting trout every week? We've been planting trout every week, every week. Give us a rundown, man. How, how often you guys been planting trout? Every week for the we've past five? We've been planting, not every week, but for the last three weeks we've been planting, uh, not we, Calaveras Trout Farm has planted us 900 pounds, okay? Uh, in the last six month stretch, yeah, close to 20,000 pounds. <sighs> From the one pound range to the six pound range. That's so a, lot of, a lot of the big mamas are gonna be looking for those Huddlestons, those uh, working class zeros, your A-rigs, your big stuff like that. Oh, we got okay. a swim baiter on our hands. <laughs> I don't play no games now. <laughs> yeah. All right, okay. Check out Carlos, Carlos' description page on Facebook. There he is. I love it. Yeah. Our man, dude. Okay. That's a big one. Carlos' fishing page. Take a picture because nobody believes stories now. You, that's true. Think about that one. Okay? Cool. <laughs> well, 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 check me out. It's called Capture Fish. Capture Fish. Yeah, on, one word on YouTube. On YouTube? Cool. Yeah. And no, I don't have YouTube. I have three kids and I, can't, I don't have time for that. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, well, if you guys have time, go check out our boy Carlos and uh, on Facebook because he's uh, given us some of the goods. But your jigs, yeah. A-rigs, yeah. those things. Can't throw A-rigs, it's illegal in our it, Yeah, for our tournament. Okay, tournament. Cool. But uh, what is the RF for the six inch uh, weedless uh, Huddleston? Okay. Oh. That's gonna be your key right there. Really? That, jigs. Slow creeping or mid column? Yes. Slow, slow off the bottom. Like barely moving it kind of thing? Barely moving it. The last- 20 foot? Deep, uh, I said deep of the last three guys that caught big fish were all on Huddleston's swim baits. Deep. Light baits deep, yeah. Uh, one guy caught a seven point something on a, I want to say, I believe it was a depth 250. Yeah, that makes the, sense. The yeah, rebel yeah. trout looking one. Yeah. There's different colors. Yeah, for sure. The older ones and the newer ones, so. Yeah. I remember that. But okay, so main lake points. Yes, the last big tournament, two Fridays ago that we had, it yeah. was a 12 boat tournament. Yeah. Okay, uh, the biggest wave was 27 point. Do you know what he was 27. Man? Swim baits. Swim baits, swim baits, yes. Swim baits, swim baits, swim baits. One of those was raining. Caught their fish. And then at the end, for the last couple hours, just do big stuff. They caught a 12.9, I believe. Oh, so all their big fish came in the afternoon? And after, oh, the whole stretch, but they caught their fish right away. And then, sure they they fish. And, then they and then they went big and they went hunting. They went, they went big. Big, 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 big. Would you say the bigger bite's going to come in the morning or in the afternoon? I would say. What does what does Carlos towards say? The end, towards the end, from what I heard when I spoke to him, he said towards the end that's when they started catching. Hmm. So maybe start off with your bottom, your jigs, yeah. your drop shots, your shaky heads, whatever you're using off yeah. the bottom. Uh -huh. uh, uh, crankbait maybe. Yeah. You know? Crank and red. Do they eat craws right now? That's my key. That yeah. is my key, key, key. I don't have my phone. I guess I do. Are they red, red right now? Yes, reddish, brownish looking color. Though. Our man Carlos right is there. showing us some goods right now, some absolute studs. Try it out. We'll do. Try it out, try it out. Let me see if he, he got some more. All right, cool. All right, just give me a quick signature for this You got out. it, dude. 100%. So the Facebook page, I started here in 2013 on Facebook. Cool. And uh, it's just Carlos' fishing page. And you, I, so I can write on the back of this one's cool? I'll uh, write it on, on, the, on the clipboard. I don't matter. Yeah. So be safe. Appreciate you, you man. And I'll hit you up. Sick. And I might have a little secret lure for you guys if I see you guys again tomorrow. Ooh. We'll be looking for you. All right, buddy. Thanks, man. Sick. So sick. All right, we just got the 411 from Carlos. I I mean, I kind of knew what I was doing already, but that just kind of just solidified it for me. Um, oh boy. All right, well, we're gonna see the lake for the first time, guys.
Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Capture Fish. Today we're on a new lake. This is Lake McClure. I'm with my buddy John here. You guys know John from the last video or a couple videos back. We're pre-fishing right now for a Bass Nation event Saturday, Sunday. It's another qualifier for next year's state team. Uh, John's fishing it as a co. I'm fishing it as a boater. And uh, yeah, just trying to figure a couple things out. I'm gonna do a one part video for two days. So today and uh, today and tomorrow is our is our practice days. And then um, and then Saturday and Sunday are game day. Ride along with us today as we try and figure a couple things out. Everything looks fishy here. Every single corner you turn just like looks super fishy. Um, so really excited to fish this lake. All right, let's go get them. First fish of the trip, finally. Oh gosh. It's a legal spot. He'll keep. Yep, 13 inches. 13 incher. Oh boy. <sighs> Gotta start somewhere. Gotta start somewhere. They're pretty. They're good looking. Right at the base of that tree. Sweet. One down. Boom. Ma. That's a weird cow. What kind of cow call was that? <laughs> Big school right, be right below us. That's it. Holy mackerel. Right? It's kind of sad to see all the trash that's here. There we go. Alright, so that's another clue. Rip bait in the back of a cove. That other boat's gone, so I don't have to worry about seeing them, but probably another baby spot. Yep. Baby spot doot 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 doot. Do. Alright. It's another clue. I think that's another keeper. Okay, so they'll eat the jerk bait too. And that fish was a little a little shallower. Let's see if there's another one with it. There we go. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, you're dangerous. I'm gonna call you danger. Peeing, pre-spawn spots. That's what you are. Let's see. You're another keeper. All right, keeper number three. Huh. They're just like, oh, we feel like eating now. Is that another largemouth? It looked like it. Yeah, right when he came by. Kind of looked like it for a second. Oh, it's a, yep, it's a largie. Huh. Interest. Interesting. <laughs> we ran into a school of ultra small largemouth. <laughs> Is that even? <laughs> that is an oxymoron. That's the most jumboist micro trip I've ever seen. Well, we're getting somewhere now. It's actually getting fish in the boat. Hmm. Another little guy. He's not like. But it's a fish. That means we're figuring. Oh, is that a crappie? Oh, that's a slab. That's a giant crappie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that Huge. is a freaking giant. Oh man! Oh dang! The belly. Oh, that is just he, full of shit. He blew up for sure. Oh, the bladder, you think? Yeah. Let's see if he can go back down real quick. If he doesn't, let's see if we get tacos for later. Looks like we got tacos for later. It's my only. Worry about catching largemouth down that de depth. <sighs> All right, well, crappie snack for later. Don't let me forget about this guy. <laughs> that was my bad. Oh yeah, John. Hey, they're eating the, they're eating the Senko. With a bullet weight. Um. Great regular rig, Texas rig with a bullet. And no, uh. No peg, no nothing. No peg, no nothing. There you go. Huh? Nice. Hell to the yeah. Get it out of your mouth, little guy. Can't get my fingers in there. Um, on the fall, on the drag. After after you hit it, <laughs> then it hit the bottom again, and then he hit it. <laughs> oh, perfect. Well, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. You got the assist on that one. Yeah, you got the assist. Bit. Sweet. Just pulled up to the Airbnb. Code is... Uh -huh. Bingo. One, two. Uh, yeah. Pretty spacious. Smells clean too. Smells clean. Oh, this place is huge. <laughs> Sweet. Laundry room. Oh, dialed.
Big old kitchen. Good stuff. Ah, oh, this is the zone. We scored. This place is literally nine minutes from the launch. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so nice being able to sleep in a little bit longer. Sweet. Good stuff. All right, I'm gonna load in and uh, get some stuff retied. Good morning. The rod's kind of all tied up over here. Um, got all dressed up. Got the rain gear on. It's supposed to rain today, all day. And then tomorrow's supposed to be blue bluebird skies and post funnel. So that's gonna be fun. Let's. So what? What do you guys think of? Fifteen pounds. Fifteen. Fifteen a day you're gonna win. Okay. I shoot for the stars, man. <laughs> <laughs> I want more right. solid limit. <laughs> <laughs> solid three. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm so, I'm down with like eight pounds a day. Eight <laughs> I'm, pounds I'm, a day probably gets you. To no, if I could ten, top ten for sure. sure. Okay, we got. We got Dylan. Dylan. You guys know John. We got our man Coleman. Yo. What's up? And we got Caden over here. Bunch of sticks, bunch of hammers, bunch of funny guys. We're gonna try and catch fish today. It's gonna be in the rain all day. And uh, Coleman was supposed to cook his steaks, but that Traeger doesn't work so good in the rain. <laughs> we were gonna bring the Traeger in the living room and, and watch some movies and play some Nintendo Wii. But, Dude, all right. We going down. <laughs> we going down. It's going yeah. down for real. <laughs> John's got our first clue of the morning. Oh, look at look what he's throwing up. Yep. Come here. Let's see what you're puking. depth that's a bash so I'm basically just zigzagging over contour lines yeah if I had side scan this would be a million times easier and clearer but gotta do it with what you got um, I was able to mark some stuff off this saddle around the corner it was really promising really good bass looking marks in like 35 feet so I'm just trying to look in like the 30 foot zone right now because that's kind of the area that I've been marking them. Um, not really, I'm just trying to look and see more, not necessarily trying to fish more. Um, definitely going to do more fishing, but got to gotta look as much as you fish too because uh, it's all about finding some zones. See right there, that's a good mark suspended off the bottom in 30 feet. 
seems like they're around 30 feet right now. You'd think they'd be a lot more shallow or more active with this uh, overcast, but it doesn't seem to be the case today. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my sweet Lawrence X96 black and white unit. And uh, she's been good. I feel like they either eat it on the fall. <laughs> I haven't had one like just dragging it. Yeah. Another one. Shallow. I think it's not shallow. I think it's coming off whatever the first thing is. Yeah. But it's shallower than 25. Huh. John's stroking them right now. Putting on a Senko clinic. Yeah. Maybe they just want that bigger profile. Little belly. That's amazing. <laughs> I forgot what that felt like. Oh man. See if he keeps. I hope it's a good one. It kind of feels like it is. It's kind of growing towards as it gets to the boat. Yeah, I should have did a little drag run. This would be kind of. My luck, it's going to be like a pound. Yeah, you'd help. Not bad, actually. It's actually not a horrible spot. All right, well, I uh, stumbled upon this in my last place, but it's basically a ball head and a spark shad. So just trying to figure out an additional pattern because drop shot wasn't really working for me. To be honest, my guess is just barely a pound. It's a pound and a quarter. Jeez. Jeez. All right. Well, it's a little fallback. All right, guys. Well, that is going to conclude the end of day two practice. Tomorrow is day one. Tomorrow is the first day of the Bass Nation state team qualifier here at McClure. Look how low this lake is. Water is usually up to here. It's all the way down there. That's crazy. Oh boy, well, either way, it was a tricky day today. Found out a couple things, um, which was good. Got to kind of look around some new spots, eliminate some water, try to figure out some new stuff. Feel good about at least how to get a limit tomorrow. Uh, and I just got to keep at it with, uh, keep swinging for a big fish as soon as I get that limit. So that's kind of my goal. Uh, that's my plan, I should say. My, my goal is to stick a good one, but 
but like again, that's, that doesn't always happen. Either way, thanks for riding along with me on this practice. And uh, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope I was able to talk a little bit about what I'm doing and what's going on. Uh, but stay tuned. The next episode is going to be day one of this tournament. And uh, anything can go. It's going to be completely different conditions tomorrow as it was today. It's going to be bluebird skies and high pressure and all kinds of stuff. So post frontal. I wonder what they're going to be doing. Um, but either way, thanks again. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And then if you like it, like it and leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. But until the next time, you guys keep a tight line and I will see you out on the water. Aloha.